The last fall for the Go Green Friday event that takes place in Swift Current every year, um, community members come out and they participate in some type of project that's going to contribute to making the city a greener, cleaner, um, more ecologically healthy place to be. Uh, and last last fall what we did was a project that tried to tackle an invasive weed pro problem on the banks of the Swift Current Creek and that's field buying weed um, which is considered an invasive in uh, Saskatchewan. Once it gets going it tends to take over um, and it creates a monoculture of itself and actually chokes out other native vegetation that's existing. So last fall what we did was um, basically prep the site for what we're doing today. Some of the species that were left on site included uh, buckbrush or snowberry and wild rose and they're coming back quite nicely actually and there's a Manitoba maple that's still in place. Um, but we've got a lot of bare area now that needs to be filled with other vegetation and preferably native vegetation that's going to do a good job of contributing to riparian functions, um, which are the jobs that the banks of creeks do. And that includes attenuating floods, um, preventing excessive sediment from entering into the creek, and just basically creating the vegetation that needs to be there to keep the creek a healthy, a healthy um, ecological zone. We've got three staff from the City of Swift Current who are helping to install everything. Two summer students and then Brian who works with the, the Parks Department. What they're doing right now is installing a bunch of uh, seedlings that came out of the Indian Head Shelter Belt program. Um, we were actually told that they were the very last trees to leave the cold room, so we've got some of the last trees that ever went out to a community project from the Indian Head Shelter Belt program, which is a PFRA program that existed for about 90 years in Saskatchewan. And so that's a pretty big deal for this region because um, in southwestern Saskatchewan we don't have a ton of trees and it was, it was pretty valuable for um, communities in this region to receive those shipments of trees. Most of these plants, you know, provide some sort of value for habitat. So they're, they're the indigenous species that tend to be along the banks of creeks. Uh, they do the job of holding those banks intact and um, attenuating floods, and then they also provide habitat for birds, for any type of wildlife that tends to use the creek as a highway, so to speak, during the winter season. Um, and so the whole project is just about getting community members working towards something that contributes to a healthier ecological site within city limits, and also just understanding what that looks like. The ideal is that the trees that we're installing grow into a riparian forest. Uh, so a riparian forest we don't have very many of them in southwestern Saskatchewan, but um, but where we do, it's an area of green vegetation that's just uh, full of trees and shrubs and bushes that are quite a bit more advanced than you know what we typically see, which is a lot of grass. Um, so so the riparian zones are those areas that can support higher vegetation because of the accumulation of nutrients and the access to water that exists on that site. Um, so the hope is that over time, these trees are going to grow up into full you know, full-bodied uh, vegetation that creates a complex ecological community known as a riparian forest. We got awfully used to the sight of green grass along the slopes of our, our creeks, you know, over the last 50 to 60 years. Um, and it's more recently that we're realizing that that actually uh, doesn't really work in terms of the functions and jobs that creeks need to be doing as they conduct water. Um, they have a whole bunch of other things that they need to be doing, like the habitat contributions and the flood attenuation. Ways that you can care for your creek include having a rain barrel and using that water to water your lawn and garden. Keep your street clean as storm sewer water goes directly into the creek and learn about engineered rain gardens and how they can fit into your yard or your community. For more information on caring for your creek, visit sccws.com. Next, Carla. <laughs> uh, Manitoba maple. If you guys want to grab your shovels, we'll get, we'll get growing. Going. We're going to make a... <laughs> I couldn't. <laughs>